There are many ways to receipt goods into your warehouse. Paper-based method, workstation scanning, radio frequency and voice. In this short video, we are going to follow a radio frequency scanning process using handheld scanners to check goods into the warehouse against a purchase order. The goods receiving process is managed by a number of employees, handling both the physical stock and the administration of the process. Supervisors and clerical workers start the process by generating a PO in the master system. This is exported into Max WMS through an electronic interface, including the PO number, product quantity and estimated day of arrival. Vehicles are allocated a booking in time and date. The warehouse operative will compare the driver's paperwork with the stock received to check there is the correct number of pallets and amount of boxes. The operative will sign for the goods and acknowledge that the warehouse has received them, but at this point the goods are still in an unchecked status. Goods are unloaded from the vehicle and stock is moved to the goods in area and items are made solid skew. One product, one pallet. Stock then needs to be checked against the PO. The operative will scan a product barcode. This allows the Max WMS system to give a list of POs where that product is found. This allows the operative to easily identify the correct PO. The operative will select the correct PO and finish scanning all item barcodes. This process is often referred to as checking actual versus expected stock. Scent Global deal with high value products and therefore enforce a stringent check process. So at this point, all boxes are opened and goods and packaging are checked for damage. All the required stock details are collected through the scanning process. On this particular screen, we can see the booking in reference, the GRN number, pallet ID, box ID, product code, product details, and an image. Goods need to be moved quickly away from the busy goods in area. Max WMS manages seven different stock status, but only status one, good stock, is available for the end user. By capturing a product status, we can put stock away that is damaged, quarantine, or QC status. The operative will shrink wrap the pallets. A pallet put away label will be generated which identifies the product, quantity, and any other information required. Once the forklift truck operator sees this pallet label, it is their cue to put the pallet away in the racking. The pallet barcode label is scanned for validation and the driver is directed to the correct location within the racking. Once put away, the stock is available for picking. 